Hello everyone, welcome to virtual training. I hope you are doing well. So in this session, we will discuss on VMware Power CLI basic command. As we know, VMware Power CLI is powerful tools that can manage the entire VMware environment. And just for overview, VMware Power CLI is integrated with Microsoft PowerShell and VMware Power CLI is using the basic syntax and concept of the Microsoft PowerShell. Okay, so in this session, we are going to see the some basic command along with example. Okay, so let's so I have already installed VMware Power CLI and I have installed online. So you can install in both mode either online or offline. Okay, so first command to check the VMware Power CLI version is get Power CLI Power CLI version and then hit enter. Now you can see the VMware Power CLI version. So it is 13.0. You can also check via get module and then hit enter. And then here you can also see the Power CLI version. Now our, our one of the most important command to connect the ESXi host. Okay, so in this environment, I have ESXi host, so I'm going to directly connect the ESXi host. Maybe in your environment, you are managing your ESXi host via vCenter server. So instead of ESXi host IP address, you can connect the vCenter via hostname or IP address. So in this environment, the ESXi host IP address is 192.168.130. 5.176 so i'm going to connect this host via vmware power cli so the command is to connect the esxi host is connect then hyphen then vi server and then hyphen server and then enter ip address so here i'm using ESXi host so I'm going to connect this ESXi host okay so maybe in your environment as I explained earlier you can connect your vCenter by mention the vCenter host name or IP address of the vCenter server so it will prompt one login option okay so it will it will take some time okay now it has prompted so I'm going to use the credential of ESXi host so yeah so ESXi host has been connected now if you are new on this channel please do subscribe this channel and also share this channel with your friend you just recommend this channel with your colleagues and you can also follow me on uh, virtual trainee instagram okay and you can also follow me on the virtual trainee facebook page i will share the link in description okay so our our next command is to get the details about ESXi host so the command is get then VM host and then hit enter once you will use get VM get hyphen VM host command then it will display the details about the ESXi host okay so 
you can see the IP address and con a connection state is connected and its power on and how much CPU allocate uh, like uh, like uh, assigned for this host and what is the uses of uh, CPU uses it is in megahertz and also you can see the memory uses and the total memory size so I have allocated this host to 12 GB and the ESXi host version is 7.0.3 and then our next command to check how, how many virtual machine is how many virtual machine is running on this ESXi host okay so the command to get the details about virtual machine is get hyphen sorry get hyphen vm okay and then hit enter and you can see total three virtual machine hosted on this esxi host so let me show you via graphical user interface so you can see three virtual machine is running on this and here you can find out the power state so centos 8 is in power of a state and then second machine also is in power of a state and third one is in power on a state and how many cpu has been assigned for this and what is the memory memory size allocated for this virtual machine then our next command to power on the virtual machine so the command is to use a start and then hyphen and then vm and then you need to mention hyphen vm and then vm name so i'm going to power on this centios 8 and then hit enter so you can see now the vm is in power uh, vm is in no power on a state okay and our then next command to stop the virtual machine so the command is instead of a start you can use a stop okay and hit enter once you will hit enter here it will ask whether you want to perform this action so you need to give the you, you need to uh, allow the permission so okay so here you need to you need to type yes so now you can see the virtual machine is in now power of a state so this is this is the basic command okay this is the fundamental command this is the initial stage to learn the power cli okay we will we will see in the next next lecture we will see about some advanced command okay we will see some advanced uh, command on the power cli okay so at uh, first we need to understand the basic command okay now our next command to get the let's example you want to get the complete information of one one of the virtual machine so how you be, how you can check so the command is get vm get vm and then hyphen then name and then you need to type the uh, virtual machine name okay so what i'm going to i'm going to check the details about this live bin dc01 so live bin dc01 sorry dc01 live bin dc01 and then you need to use pipeline and then format format list okay and then hit enter so you can see the complete details about the this virtual machine so how many cpu is located for this core per socket memory and on which esxi host it has like uh, hosted okay so it is very easy to get the details about uh, individual virtual machine okay and you will you can also see the persistent id okay and data store as well 
there is one more command to get the let's example on esxi host five virtual machine is running okay so let's in this environment three virtual machine is running then for single command how we can how we can display all the uh, all the you know details about uh, virtual machine so command is get get vm then pipeline and then use fl so once you will use this command okay so you can see it has display about centos 8 and then it will display about all the three virtual machine okay so first first it has display about centos and then next it is display about test lab dc01 and then third it display about lab bin dc01 so all the three virtual machine it has display okay now now our next command is to take the snapshot of the virtual machine okay so what is the command to take a snapshot so command is to take the virtual machine snapshot is type new and then you need to type snapshot snapshot and then you need to type hyphen sorry hyphen vm after that vm name so i'm going to take the snapshot of the centos machine so cent centos 8 and then we need to we need to mention the name of name of so first we will mention the description okay so mention description and description name so i'm going to give description name is demo and then we need to give the a snapshot name so we are going to give a snapshot name so i'm sorry hyphen name and then a snapshot name i'm going to give let's example test okay and then hit enter okay so the snapshot has been taken okay now for cross verify let's use get a snapshot a snapshot and then vm and type vm name centios 8 and hit enter and you can see the uh, de description like uh, description about this machine so we have taken so you can see your name test and description demo which we have given and then this uh, the v, uh, machine is in power power of state okay and the, so and our next command let's you are new on this and you want to know what command to use for so so you can use get and then hell okay sorry get and then hell and then you just mentioned it i want to see about uh, snapshot uh, command okay so snapshot okay i'm sorry snapshot and then hit enter so like how many totals command how many total command is there it will display okay so just use get help instead of a snapshot let's example you if, if we want to see about vm then hit enter and then it will display the all the uh, all the related command regarding uh, vm okay so around you know it is 600 plus cmd lets command so it will display all the related information okay yeah now you can also you can also use the command to know about the details of so the command is get then vi command and then use 
star and then let's I'm going to see about a snapshot a snapshot and then hit enter okay in the same way you can use let's I'm going to see about network is that I'm not sure whether network is there or not yeah so you can see network is also if you want to see about data store data store yeah you can see so it will display all the command okay so in this session we have discussed about basic command of VMware Power CLI in the next lecture we will we will we will uh, you know we will see the advanced command how we can delete the virtual machine a snapshot from the power CLI and how we can configure the network network okay so in uh, next lecture yeah we will see some advanced command okay I hope you will like this video so thank you so much have a nice day